Welcome back to the weekly 60 minutes that's exclusively dedicated to the automobile and the auto industry. This is Autofocus, the automobile show. Small cars have always been interesting. In Japan, they love them and even have a class of car called K cars that by all definitions are tiny. While most K cars are hatchbacks, in 1991 Suzuki went out and tried something new a two-door sports coupe and convertible. They called it the Cappuccino. For this week's second auto feature, we go for a ride in a rare Suzuki Cappuccino, modified and customized by the wheel gurus of Wheel Gallery. K-cars are special cars in Japan, and so is this, the Suzuki Cappuccino. I'm Mark Bernardo, sales executive of Concept One, and this is a 1991 Suzuki Cappuccino. The Suzuki Cappuccino is a two-seat hardtop convertible designed and built by Suzuki to meet the K-car category in Japan. A very small car in comparison to other coupe convertibles. The Cappuccino features a front engine. Rear wheel drive layout with a 657cc turbocharged engine. It was only sold in Japan. Well, it's pretty much a stock Suzuki Cappuccino, uh, tuned by Auto Plus, Pacho Blanco. Paint by J Works, and this orange stripe was done by Foila Car. And of course, the wheels and tires came from Wheel Gallery Concept One. Well, I think it was basically the owner's own creativity that created this. The Cappuccino is actually a convertible and allows for open top driving by disassembling the roof mechanism. It started off as a white, really ugly Cappuccino, but then through the work of the owner, it looks like this. <laughs> I mean, it's a big improvement from how it was before. This car is running Concept One's old school eight spoke design in flat black with Yokohama Niovas wrapped around it. 14 inch wheels and 175 60 14 Advan Niovas. And it's actually on Bilstein shocks, Bilstein suspension right now. Uh, this is the original wing. We left the tail light stock. And on the inside, we changed the upholstery to leather with white stitching and everything else is pretty much how it originally came. The engine is a 657cc, three-cylinder turbocharged motor and can come with either the three-speed automatic or the five-speed manual transmission. The engine in stock form produces 64 horsepower, the maximum that the K-Car class allows. This is a stock power plant, a 660cc, three-cylinder turbocharged engine. I think it's just been left stock and tuned by BRE, Pacho Blanco from Auto Plus. The power is something that I don't think anyone would be content with, but the way it handles, the way it moves around, is it makes up for the lack of power. And plus the lightness, I mean it has a 660cc three-cylinder turbo engine. Even though it has a turbo, it still doesn't have that oomph as other cars do, but because it's so light, it's just, I don't think anyone would mind once you get to drive it. Despite its size, it's a very fun package, and I have to admit, everywhere you drive this thing, people just turn their heads. They can't help but question what car it is. Is it a Miata S2000? But it's the shapes are kind of different. For example, coming, coming here, a guy actually stepped out of his Camry and asked me what car it was. So it's really a head turner. And just driving it around, it's pretty fun. It has a 12,000 rev limit, so you can rev the heck out of it and just have as much fun as you want. With the modifications and custom touches done by Concept One and the A Toy body kits, as well as the restoration of the interior, truly enjoy driving around in his unique Suzuki Cappuccino.
The cappuccino is a rare sight on Philippine streets. Having only been sold in Japan to meet the K uh, car category's requirements. Thanks to these custom modifications, not only is this cappuccino rare, it's most likely one of a kind. And that's our show for this week. We hope you have found it informative as well as entertaining. Autofocus, the Philippine Motor Show on television, shall again be back here next week with the latest about the automobile and the auto industry. Until the next edition of your Auto News and Features TV magazine, this has been your host, Ray Butch Gaboa.